Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a PowerLab hardware setup with lab chart software in the ADI hand grip dynamometer. This is a continuous measurement hand grip dynamometer. It's digital, so you're going to be able to record how hard somebody is squeezing using this, uh, this box part of the hand grip dynamometer. Uh, and you can see that across time. And you can also do um, trials, so hand grip trials, where you look at responses to things like hand grip exercise. So you're going to be able to look at heart rate responses, blood pressure responses, respiratory responses, those sorts of things. So it's very, very handy, very commonly done in research. And so we're going to get right to that now. All right, so here we are. Here's the hand grip dynamometer. So you can see that I've covered this one in a, an athletic tape and a little pre-wrap. That's because the edges of this, because uh, it's just metal, or it's a little bit tough on the hand. So this just makes it a little bit more comfortable for the individual. Here is the other side of the hand grip dynamometer. So this is a, um, a DIN connector. So this is going to go into one of the channels on this power lab. So this bottom box here is the power lab. Um, so these top boxes are for other things, so let's ignore that for now. Um, so I'm going to put it in channel 2 because I have a settings file already set up to take um, a hand grip dynamometer in channel 2 so we can see. So we're going to go underneath the 2 to this port right there. So plugging this in, you can see there's a little light here, and that light is off the moment. Once I plug it in, you're going to see power come to it. So you can see right there it's already got power, but you want to get it all the way in just like that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the LabChart 8 software, and as that's loading, you're going to see a bunch of things coming up here. It's scanning for different devices, so that's looking for the Power Lab as well as some of the other software and hardware connections that um, I don't need at the moment, so we're just going to ignore those. So here's the Power Lab. You can see the green check, so that's what you want to see, and these other ones we're going to ignore. So because there's one that isn't hooked up that we're not going to be using anyways, um, it's, it's brought this window up here where we have to hit OK to get to the next screen. If everything was connected that it was looking for, this would just advance to the next screen on its own. So I'm going to click OK here, and you're going to see this setup pop up. So if you want to do a um, brand new lab chart file without any settings in them, you would come over here and click New, and that would mean you would have to set up um, how to use the hand grip dynamometer, which is, uh, can be a little complex, although I believe with this hand grip dynamometer, it kind of does most of the work for you. Um, other devices are much more complex. Um, but we're going to go right up here into one of these settings files that are already um, in this system. Um, I'm going to go to this first one, which is the 30% hand grip um, with some other things connected. So there's going to be a lot of stuff in this settings file that we're not going to use, but that's okay. The ones we are going to use here are this channel 2, which is where we have the hand grip dynamometer plugged in right here, so channel 2. And I'm also going to look here and find where the percent force channel is, which is a calculated channel that we've created from the hand grip dynamometer. So here it is. So we have these other channels that we don't need out of our way at the moment. So we have hand grip force in this top channel here, and then this channel is a percentage of maximal hand grip force that we are going to get from this. So if I hit start here, all right, it's going to start recording information. Okay, so if we're looking at this, this is the raw data from here. So if I squeeze this a few times, you're going to see these bumps in the signal every time I squeeze. All right, so that is me squeezing this hand grip dynamometer. We can, um, we can change the scaling on this, uh, the y-axis scaling. I'm just going to double click that gray area here to the side. That's going to allow us to sort of do a uh, quick automated scaling here. So it's going to auto scale it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to shrink this down and then I'm going to do a maximal voluntary contraction of my left hand here. So I'm going to squeeze this as hard as I can, see how strong I am. And um, from that, we're going to enter some information into this percent of maximal voluntary contraction channel so that we can not only see raw force, so how many newtons of force I'm producing, but we can see a percentage of my maximal ability as well. So I'm going to squeeze now. So I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing. That's about as good as I'm probably going to be able to do with my left hand. So I'm going to let go. And you can see here, we have a nice um, flat sort of top to the squeezing, uh, so sort of that trial, that maximal trial, that's what you want to see. So hit the stop button, so it allows you to come in here, and if you look at this um, sort of plus sign here, it's going to show you where my mouse is, 
And if we kind of just scroll over top of this, uh, this maximal trial here, and then if we look here, where right now it's saying um, the 800 newtons, which is the maximum that it allows you to do. Um, but if you look right there in that spot as I'm scrolling across, it's going to tell you um, what I was squeezing. So it looks like my average was somewhere around 390 or so newtons. All right, so I'm going to go into this channel down here, which is set to be a percentage of my max, which my max was 390 newtons. And I'm going to right click and it's going to bring up all this. So I'm going to go and I'm going to click this arithmetic, which is how this channel is, uh, uh, what this channel is doing in order to create the channel. So it's using uh, equations in order to create the channel. So go into arithmetic with a left click. And you see a formula that we've uh, got up here just as essentially a placeholder. All right, so this 300 in this formula, so what it's doing is taking whatever's in channel two, dividing it by 300, and then multiplying it by 100. All right, so we're dividing by maximal force, with force which right now I need to make this 390. All right, so it's channel two divided by my, by my max, which was 390 newtons, and then multiplied by 100 to get it into a percentage. All right, so I'm gonna click OK. And now, I am going to zoom in on this, and I'm gonna hit Start. All right, so now that the maximal hand grip channel is uh, in there and it's set up to my maximum, when I'm squeezing here, if I squeeze as hard as I can, you're going to see the numbers up around 100, so I'm not quite getting to 100, but I was up in the 90s. Um, so if you're looking at this number here, so let me do that one more time. So I'm in the 90s um, talking, so I'm quite, not quite as strong, I guess, um, when I'm talking. Um, but you can see the my force being produced in raw newtons, and you can see it as a percentage of what I'm able to do. And so let's say we want to do a hand grip trial of 30% uh, of your maximum. So you're going to squeeze for 30% 30, 30 of uh, 390 newtons for me um, for, say, two minutes. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you can see what we have set up here is these boundaries it's so the boundary is around the 30% marker. So you want to typically give somebody a little error room. So 35 is the upper boundary, 25% is the lower boundary. So somewhere in this white band is where we want people to squeeze if we're doing a 30% hand grip trial. So I'm going to squeeze. You're going to see it's, it's a little challenging. It's something that takes some getting used to. So I went a little too hard there. Now there I am. I'm right in that 30% range. And so Doing this for, say, two minutes or more is actually pretty challenging for most people. And so it's a really nice um, trial for making blood pressure go up, making heart rate go up, making respiration potentially go up as well. Um, and so it's a really nice cardiovascular trial that you can do in a very controlled environment. So that was a really quick introduction on how to do uh, hand grip trials using a power lab system and their continuous um, computerized and electronic hand grip dynamometer. So I hope that was helpful for you. And please come back and um, watch some more videos. Also put some comments or some questions down below and I'll try to answer those for you. All right, thanks.